A safety alert tonight. Texas ranks in the top five states for identity theft. Nearly 30,000 people fall victim every year. CBS 19's Phil Sutton joins us from the CBS 19 parking lot right now where you can come by and have your sensitive documents shredded for free today. Field. Well, Brian, you know, it is so important to get rid of all that information that you have sitting around that otherwise a thief could get hold of and use to victimize you. And now, since we cranked these things up at 530 this morning, we have shredded just over 25,000 pounds of documents that people have brought by. And to give you a, an idea of what that really means, that is more than we shredded all day, all the way up until 1030 last November. So already broken a great record there. Now, another thing to consider is that that is a lot because one of these trucks holds 12,000 pounds of paper, so we've already filled these things up twice over and then some. Now, a full one-fifth of identity, thief, identity theft victims have to put their lives back together, all because someone got hold of their social security numbers. So we wanted to know, what else can you do to protect yourself? Check my credit score daily, uh, weekly, and uh, run, and so far, nothing has happened. Mary Jacoby used to be like a lot of us, assuming identity theft was someone else's problem. But all of a sudden, it was her own. Yes, I have fallen victim twice. She was one of three million people whose personal information, including social security number, was left exposed by the state on the internet. And you might remember last December when we learned the Chicken Express on Tyler's old Jacksonville Highway had an employee allegedly stealing debit card info. 50% of all identity theft that happens in the U.S. is traced back to employee error. Mark Seguin is an expert when it comes to protecting your identity. He says most of us are far too willing to share personal information at the drop of a hat. Don't put your social security number on every one of those employment applications. In fact, the list of people who do need your social is very short. Your tax preparer, your employer, and your bank definitely need it. So do government-operated medical and retirement programs. But ideally, you should only share it in person and never over email or in a phone call. And they say, hey, we're finishing up the paperwork. We need to verify your newborn baby's uh, social security number. Another pitfall, thieves who go to work as you. They'll claim a bunch of dependents so that it, there's virtually no tax being withheld. Michael Stevens is a CPA. He says these work thieves use your social, take the money up front, and stick you with the tax bill. Fortunately, if you do fall victim, the IRS will tell you where the fake you is working. Get a hold of the employer and say, hey, this is you reporting a W-2 for me and I don't work for you. Other than that, the best you can do is watch your back. I shred everything that comes in the mail. Um, I'm very careful now. I used to not ever think about it, and now I'm very cautious about it. And there is something else that could cut down on the identity theft that goes on inside the workplace. It's a program called E-Verify, which allows employers to check credentials against the IRS's central database that already exists, but it is optional. Now, new lawmakers are trying to make that an absolute requirement for businesses. We'll see where that goes. Now, just a reminder here, we're out here for about five more hours shredding anything you want to bring by. It's absolutely free. No, uh, no donation to the shredder, as it were, is too small and none is too big either. We are at Troop in the Loop in South Tyler, right next to KFC. Very easy to find if you're on your way into town or on your way out of town. Now, Brandon and Michelle, I know you've seen the results, but these guys really do a great job. They conform to that industry standard five-eighths of an inch for the shreds that um, come out of this just the first time. And then, of course, they do shred it a second time once they get it back to their uh, headquarters down there. So absolutely a great way to get rid of those sensitive documents. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you live at Troop in the Loop in South Tyler, Field Sutton, KYTX, CBS 19 News. All right, thanks a lot, Field. Now, we've posted more resources to protect yourself from identity theft on our website. Just log on to CBS19.tv and click on the hot button.